Hey everyone, this is Kathleen over at Book Brush. Our platform is the easiest way for authors to make all kinds of social media graphics and everything in between for book marketing. Today I'm going to show you a really cool hidden gem, time saver, and text hack all in one. Let's take a look. We'll jump into Custom Creator and I'll choose any ad size just so we can get to these. Go down on the left to images and the hidden gem alert right here is text so of course you can make your own text boxes but in the interest of time and cool things you can also try these let me show you a few examples first we'll try special offer so you just click and then you can double click this you can resize with the slider here on the left or you can drag and move it this way. So it's pretty cool. It's a way to have these neat fonts and things where you didn't have to make a text box. Now a way to take it up a notch, we'll go back to images. I'm going to add the white one. So if you see a black one, oftentimes there's a matching white one, which can sometimes look nice depending on your background. So I'll click that. I'm going to resize it so it is as big as the other one. And then check this out. So you can add the extra depth by adding two of them. And you may know this, but you can layer using these two little arrows in the lower right corner of any element. So you can send it behind and then you can send it back forward. Pretty cool. So there's one example. We'll keep scrolling down. We have a lot of different promo, Cyber Monday, Black Friday, Buy Now, Coming Soon. And you can always click more to see more. Pre-order now, am writing, currently reading, more Cyber Monday, Black Friday. Here's another cool option. We'll click the Black Friday, make it nice and big, and in the filter. So when we double-click the editing and go to the left for filters, at the bottom there are fades. So you can actually have this fade top to bottom or to the side. So all those filters are there for you. So that's kind of cool. If you try a filter and change your mind, just use the arrow to remove it. And let's look at more. Next up is Hello Summer. Now, if you have one with color, you can use these filters here to change the color a little bit. And then, of course, remove the filter here. And one last cool thing in here. This super fun name tag. There are a lot of ways that you can use this because you can place it in your graphic and then you can add a text box on top. So we'll go to text on the left, click add a new text box, and we will just type in. All right, hello, I'm your favorite mystery writer. Click in here, click add more fonts. This is a perfect time to check out handwritten. So you can choose different handwritten choices in here so it looks like you signed your own name tag. When you see one you like, you can just click on it and we can click several. When it has the check mark, that means when you click the X to close out, you will find it right here in the just added fonts. We need to center it, probably make the text darker, remove the text shadow, and we'll try the different fonts. Kind of a fun way to personalize any graphic you're making. So now you know where to find them. Get creating.